Hi guys! Today are off to the Bernardo's shop at Lostock, uh, having a look at some um, some ELC discontinued stock. Who's over there? Um, there? We're, we're also going into Northwich and doing our us usual run around the charity shops in Northwich, uh, and then it'll be uh, up to Kingsmead and, and Hartford. Hartford. And we've got to drop off. Oh yes, we've got Hermes to do as well. So a busy day, but hopefully we'll pick up lots of stock. See you later. Got some of the early learning centre stuff. Nothing much, but you know, some bit. So that's always good. So just coming out of town now. I didn't get any footage in town because you've seen it all before, you know, a hundred times on my videos, going around town, going around the charity shops. It's nothing new. Um, but yeah, I got this cool hat. I got this new cool hat. Um, I thought I'd do like a little sort of haul video in the car. I don't know, just random one. But yeah, really nice. There was no price on it. Um, and I was expecting the guy to say, oh, well, it's like five quid or eight quid or something. Because this charity shop is fairly expensive the one I, you know I got this out of. It's obviously, you know, real old, you know, quite an old one. It's real heavy it's leather it's a, it's a good one um and if you don't know when i choose a hat i always look at condition in the sense of how battered or how worn is it because i like my hats to be more worn um and this one it certainly does have wear i don't know if you can see that but it does have wear to it there's a little bit of a slash there and that just says to me that the hat's been there's, there's, the hat has a story and that's what i like so it looks good on looking beast in this i love it um but yeah so i got this hat for three quid and obviously i'm not selling it that's just for me but i thought i'd show it you because i know that a lot of people on the channel like to see my new hat pickups um but i've really been f few and far between recently uh the other stuff is in the back here somewhere one sec in fact, can even get it through here. There we go. Look at that skill. Um, I got this. Now, it was scanning in on Amazon. It's, uh, oh God, Malibu Pilates Total Body Workout. Scanning in on Amazon at like 73 quid. There was no sales rank or anything like that. So I'm not bothered. I'm not going to bother sending that in. Um, but then I saw on eBay, like, there'd been international sales of, like, little bundles of these used. Um, and they went fairly well. Um, and I thought, new and sealed, there's none currently on. Uh, obviously, with little bundles of used ones sold internationally. So I thought, I'd probably get a tenner for that on eBay. It might, obviously, it's going to be a longer tail item, I think. But paid a quid for it. Probably get about 10, 12 quid, something like that. But I'll just whack it on. And then come a few months, it'll probably sell at some point. So, yeah, that's that one anyway. Um, and then the only other thing I got is pretty poor day today. Other than the stuff I showed you in, in a previous clip. The um, early learning centre stuff. Which will be... Um, exclusively for Christmas. I'm going to send that into Amazon at Christmas. Should do quite well for me then. Uh, I paid £12 a set, £12.48 a set. Should do about 40 to 50 at Christmas, um, judging past sales rank and say and price history on Camel Camel Camel. So they should be okay. I've got four of them. Um, she had so much of it. She rang me up yesterday, um, and it's a charity shop I'm very, very familiar with the manager in, uh, get along really well with her, and um, and yeah, she rang me up yesterday, she said, I've got a load of this early learning centre stuff come in, would you be interested in some of it? Unfortunately, I couldn't take a lot of it, I would say 90% I couldn't take, um, but I certainly, you know, I, I took those four items there. I would have liked to t take a lot more of it, but you know, if there's no profit to be made, there's no point taking it, is there? So, um, so yeah, that's what happened. I managed to get a few bits from her anyway. But it was really exciting just to get a call and go down there and all that sort of stuff. And it was just, just an exciting process, really. So, anyway, 
this one is seen it magical moment i'll just scan it in for you i've got my oh god it's so bloody tight in this car um i've got my phone i'll scan it in i suspect maybe like 25 30 on amazon maybe a push i don't know um, but I'll send it into Amazon probably because I've all, I've already got a couple of other board games that are going in So, you know, I may as well just prep this one when I'm sending the other ones in Where is the barcode? Oh, there Right, I'll just be very quick scanning it in just to give you a more accurate price Let me have a look Hmm, doesn't look too bad uh, 20 quid, £19.30 used on Amazon. Obviously, I'm going to check eBay to see if that's more, and then I'll sell it on eBay if it is more, but I doubt it. I really do. Um, I think that Amazon is probably going to be of a better price for this item. Um, 119000 in toys, so not the best rank, but certainly it's going to sell. So, yeah, that's that. Um, if you like my new hat, give the video a like and throw a comment down below as well. Um, and if you'd like to see me buy more hats, please tell me in the comments because I need a push. I need a kick up the arse so that then I actually start buying more hats again. Because I do want to grow my collection, uh, but whenever I've seen them recently, I've just passed them up. Um, and it's sort of like I'm reselling and I'm like, I'm looking at it as a reseller and not as, uh, you know, a person, as a person who likes hats. And I'm thinking, well, I can't make any money on it, so I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> you know, but anyway, it, yeah, so um, that's that. So I will see you in the next segment. Bye for now, guys. Back home now and going to get some of this stuff sorted. Um, yeah, I got a wee bundle, like, after, like, the last charity shop. Nothing really mega exciting in there. Randomly, in the bag... This was the bag it came in in the charity shop. I basically got it as it came in. Um, and randomly in the bag, the donation bag, was this pair of jeans. So, yeah. Weird. Like, I don't know. Are they women's ones? Like, very, like a young women's ones? I don't know. They're not really, really long. But I would, I would, I would say they're not kids. You know, probably ladies' ones. But... Yeah, see if there's any money in them as well, so that's always a little bit of a bonus. I'll show you these in more detail. Um, I got four of these, £12.50 each. Um, and they are the SingStar microphone by ELC, which are now gone. Um, but I think they're still... I think they may be still trading online, to be honest, because I think I've seen them. I think I've seen, like, an eBay shop of ELC, but... I don't know, anyway. Um, yeah, got them for £12.50 each. They are very slow sellers, other than quarter four. Quarter four, I can easily get 40 quid for them, something like that. Um, and I could get that now, but the problem is they only sell a couple of times a month. Um, so I'm not going to send them in yet. I'm going to wait, I'm going to store them. Um, and obviously it's 50 quid tied up, but, you know, I'm, it's not a mega amount of money. It's not like three or four hundred quid tied up for Christmas or anything um, and I'll put them away and then I'll send them in in a shipment on maybe uh, in September October time something like that uh, I'm getting together a load of stuff that I feel is going to go a lot better at Christmas and I'm just bunging that away and I'm going to do a shipment as I say in September October like I did last year um, and it just boosts sales at Christmas time and it gets me a good amount of money in at Christmas time so that then I can spend on Christmas presents unfortunately um, but yeah so that's them anyway I thought I'd just show them you in more detail um, there was the potential as I said before to buy a lot more of it but it just really wasn't worth doing um, so yeah that's that um, and in the other room we are put well my, I say we my mum is putting away the shopping there. What was that? No, not yourself. Oh, right. <laughs> um, we've got lunch on under the grill. So, yeah, that's that. that. <laughs> I know, yeah, I'm recording it again. Oh. Um, no, and yeah, we've got lunch on under the grill. So, yeah, that's that, really. So, I'll sit down and have a bit of a chill for a little bit. So, I have just had lunch. I don't know whether that's that's a bit better, isn't it? I was just a little bit far far up on the camera like that. Um, 
Yeah, so I've just had lunch and I'm watching a little bit of Darren at the moment. Well, it's just finishing actually the video. Um, I'm going up to what I call the Syrian charity shop because it, it's for Syrian refugees. So that's the easiest way to refer to it as. Um, I'm going up to there and then I'm coming back here. I will show you anything I get, you know, as a little bit of a, a haul video. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a lot from there. I usually get an item or two, um, but I don't, I've don't. i never got anything massive from there. I actually only found out about it about six weeks ago, something like that. Might Maybe a little bit more, but probably about six weeks ago. Got all the stuff from today on the bed and I'm going to choose like the easiest things to list and process them in the other room it's quite nice doing this little with this little tripod i've got a new tripod and it's really really nice just to sort of walk around with vlogging um in the other room i've got a big oh i don't know what you see about there oh my mum's out there don't know what you see but over there that is my mum that was a surprise um to see her outside the house randomly like that um yeah, I've got a big box of stuff there and further down, loads of boxes of stuff that needs to be processed. Um, and it, half of it's like stuff you really don't, you know, I don't want to deal with all that sort of stuff. Um, just like the standard pile of shame stuff, really. It's just stuff I, I don't really want to deal with. Yeah, I mean, it really is just the standard pile of shame stuff with your Mario Kart on the SNES in there. But <laughs> anyway, um... I've got a Wii Fit board there that needs to be cleaned and, uh, and then put on. Um, and then, yeah, and I'll just show you a bit of behind the scenes that you don't really see. I mean, my windowsill there, I have my um, scales and uh, my little Royal Mail size. Oh no, Royal Mail size guide isn't there. Must be in the other room. Um, and then I have all my screwdrivers for my games, for doing with my games, things like that. Um, and, and like, I have like three different tripods now, or four different tripods for YouTube. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go up to the charity shop and then I'm going to get back, show you the items I got, if any, and get on with processing really for the rest of the day. So I'll update you in a little bit, guys. Right, back from the old chatter. Um, I am going to get this lot to the side of me in the other room. And then I'm going to get on with something very exciting, which is some merch work. Sort of rhymes that does, doesn't it? Merch work. It doesn't quite, but it sort of does. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to say that because, oh my god, I've been waiting so long for merch. And uh, my first t-shirt design went live. It was either overnight or this morning, because I checked it this morning and it had gone live, so I imagine overnight sometime. Uh, if you're wondering how long it takes for a t-shirt design to go live, I can only give you my experience, and for me it was about two days. I suspect they'll have had a lot of people submit uh, t-shirt designs from the UK, um, so that might obviously impact the time it takes. I would imagine... If there wasn't as many people, you know, submitting designs, um, it may take a bit, you know, a bit less time. But that's only my take on it. I can only give you my take. Um, but yeah, really excited. That first one's gone live. I don't expect to make a sale off it yet. I mean, it might be weeks and weeks and weeks and more and more designs being submitted before I get even one sale. And I'm quite happy to do that. Um, but I do want to tear up. I want to get to the 10 designs, the first 10 designs, and then and then have the opportunity to tear up. That would be really cool. But anyway, as I say, just going to get this stuff into the room and then get on with some merch work. So, see you in a bit, guys. So, uh, everything's through in this room now. I've got my new hat on, which is pretty cool. I do like it. I know it's not in the right position particularly, but anyway. I don't know. I mean, there's loads of different ways you can wear these, isn't there? Like that... That's good, that's good, that'll do. Um, so yeah, I've got everything through here now. I've got a load of items on my photo area to photo, you know, take the stickers off, that sort of stuff, uh, and list. Um, I've got a load of items down there, I don't know whether you can see. Ready, ready to be listed, like photographed. Um, I basically photographed all of them before I started this vlog. Um, I've actually had a few Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles magazines from the 90s, or comics, uh, lying around for a while, 
and I've just disregarded them. I got them in a job lot, cost me pretty much nothing, um, and I've just sort of disregarded them, and I researched them, and I actually think I could probably get about a tenner a magazine back. So, yeah, you've got to do your research for everything, even those little tiny bits in job lots that you really don't think are going to be worth something. Just do your research, because, yeah, it will pay off. So, I've photographed them, and they're such a nice, easy item to photograph and list. So, yeah, photograph them, get them on tonight, nice tenner a pop, that's great. A bit more money back from the job lot. Probably not going to be the fastest sellers in the world, but hey-ho, that's fine. Um, so, now I'm just going to get on with some Amazon merch work, then... Just quickly sort that stuff down there, um, and then basically I will list the night away. So yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to do, so I'll see you in the next segment, guys. So I decided to go down a little bit of a different route and do my photos first. I did my, you know, taking off the labels, cleaning, that sort of stuff first. And I am about to watch some of Ben Fitzpatrick's video, uh, his boot sale haul. Um, and I can just list on my phone now, so nice and easy little half an hour. This is what I love about this job. It can be severely hard at times, and it can be tough. And when you're not having good sales, or uh, when you, for some reason, can't get a lot of stock, or whatever it may be, or you're having problem buyers, or returns, or whatever... Um, it can be a really hard job, but times like these when I can just, you know, sit listening to YouTube and list a few items, these are the times I love this job, you know. Um, and I love going to the car boots and sourcing and all that stuff as well. But I do just love sitting here, nice chilled afternoon, just doing a few listings. And to say that that is my job is kind of weird. Um, but at the same time, it gives me a lot of pleasure as well to say that is my job. Um, so yeah, gonna watch a bit of Ben Fitzpatrick, then get on with a little bit of merch work, and I will see you in a bit. Oh yeah, just before I start watching Power Rangers. Um, yeah, I've done like 12 listings. One sec, I'll just shut the door. Um, it's, yeah, it's coming up to, well, you can see for yourselves. It's like, oh god, I can't read that backwards. Um... It's like 4.28, I think. Let's read it off my thing. Oh, no, 4.34. It's like 4.34. So, obviously, it's been, what, about an hour, give or take. Um, and I've done about 12 listings. I'm pretty speedy when I get through them on my phone. I think the most I've ever done in an hour is about 20. Um, so, yeah, I am pretty speedy when I, when I uh, get going. Um, yeah, I've got probably about four to do. Quite easy ones, though, are actually... Uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics, and they're quite easy, I can bash through them. Um, so yeah, and, and then I'm going to, after I've watched Power Rangers, going to get some tea, and then I'll do my merch work after tea. Do the, maybe three listings while I'm, three or four listings while I'm doing, while I'm watching Power Rangers. And yeah, that'll be the end of it for, uh, for me, I think, after I've done some merch work. So come about seven o'clock, I will knock off, I think. So yeah. Job and knock, we call it, I think. So, job and knock today. Job and knock. That's what we used to do in college. Uh, so, yeah. I'll leave it there for now, guys. Um, and I will get back to you probably after tea. And then I'll round off the vlog. So, see you in a bit. So, yeah. Um, a job lot just arrived randomly at... My camera's flashing at me again. So, the battery's died, uh, dying. But, yeah. Um, about ten past five. And a job lot's just arrived. So, a bit of a change of plan. Before tea, I'm going to sort this out. I've done all my listings now, though, so that's good. Um going to sort of sort this out, open it up, just see what's in there, and whack it in your room, um, and then have some tea, and then do my work, merch work. But when a job lot always comes in, I can't resist but open it up, uh, just to see what's in there. And I know exactly what's in here. Um, it's not like I bought blind or anything like that. But I just like to, you know, open it up. It's like a feeling of having a present. So, yeah, I'll do that and uh, get back to you in a little bit. And no surprise here, it's a load of video games. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you what's in here. There's like, you know, PlayStation 3 in there, a couple of Wii consoles, a load of other games and stuff. Uh, a couple of balance boards. They seem to be a bit slower for me now, the balance boards, actually. Uh, when I sort of first got into video games, maybe... Must be... 
six, eight months ago now. It's still not that long, to be honest. I've not been doing video games that long, but maybe a bit more than that. But, um, but yeah, they seem to be a bit quicker selling for me, so I think they might be slowing down a bit. But that's obviously because the Wii is... Uh, obviously, there's a lot of better consoles out there now, and the Wii is going down in value, and the Wii stuff is going down in value. Um, obviously, you've got your certain games that will go up in value, um, but, you know, bog standard stuff from it is, is just going to really go down in value. Although, maybe in 10, 20 years, it might go up in value, or it might hold some value. Um, but yeah, so, I've just found that a bit slow recently, and as I say, just a load of other... Uh, platforms, you know, a load of other games from different platforms, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox Original, P PS2, PS3, along with a PS2 console somewhere, and a load of other bits and bobs, so, yeah, I'll get this uh, all into the room, then I'll get on and do some merch work, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to flip you round, I'm just going to flip that round there, um, and I'm going to say bye now, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog, guys. Uh, tell me if you'd like to see more of these one-off style vlogs. I know this one wasn't particularly... There wasn't a particular subject or anything like that. It was just a random compilation of bits of me throughout the day. But I suppose that's what a vlog is. Um, but I know it wasn't the most exciting or most um, sort of focused vlog. That's the word I want to use. Focused. It wasn't really the most focused vlog. Um, but yeah, I've got to go now anyway because my camera's flashing at me, so I will see you in the next one and I hopefully will charge my camera fully next time. So yeah, see you soon guys. Thank you.